Ultimate Fact presents Top 20 Craziest Facts You Won't Believe They're Actually True. Before we begin, click that like button to inspire us. Moreover, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by this type of ultimate fact. The world is a strange, surprising place, in ways large and small, serious and trivial. Many times, things you may have assumed to be true might be totally false. Other times, what you long believed to be a myth is actually fact. From an earthquake-proof cathedral that's made almost entirely of cardboard to an ancient Egyptian mummy with a modern-day passport, this list of crazy but true facts is sure to challenge your preconceived notions about the world. A man once ate an entire airplane. In 1978, a French man named Michel Lotito began an unusual endeavor. He started eating a Cessna 150 airplane. Lotito developed an unusual tolerance for eating dangerous objects when he was 9 years old due to a condition known as pica, which leads to an appetite for non-nutritive items. It took him two years to complete his metal field meal. He finished consuming the last of the airplane in 1980. A Nobel Prize winner was given a lifetime supply of beer. In 1922, when Danish physicist Niels Bohr won the Nobel Prize, the Carlsberg Brewery in Copenhagen, Denmark, decided to give him a house. But it wasn't just any house, it was located right next to the brewery and had a pipe that brought beer directly into the residence. While it might seem strange to award a scientist with beer, Carlsberg had a passion for science as part of its company culture. They had a laboratory devoted to developing better beer brewing. In 1875, the laboratory was the first to isolate Saccharomyces pastrianus, the species of yeast used to brew pale lagers. The laboratory also made discoveries in protein chemistry that ended up having applications elsewhere. You might be able to compost yourself in the U.S. When you pass away, you could choose to have your body buried or cremated, but soon there may be another option, composting. In April 2019, a bill was passed in the state of Washington to make natural organic reduction a legal option. The process can turn a human body into compost within weeks by giving the natural process of decomposition a gentle boost. Bodies are put in a temperature-controlled rotating vessel along with some wood chips, straw, and gases. After the process is completed, a cubic yard of soil per person is left, which loved ones can then take home to grow a tree or a plant if they so wish. Shakespeare's parents and children were likely illiterate. William Shakespeare remains one of the most famous playwrights and poets of all time. And while the bard attended grammar school to master reading, writing, and Latin, it's believed that his parents and children were almost entirely illiterate. The ability to read and write wasn't necessary during the Elizabethan era. And although Shakespeare's father, John, may have had a basic level of literacy, he signed his name with a mark instead of his full name. His daughters, Susanna and Judith, are thought to be totally illiterate, although Susanna could write her signature. Elephants can hear with their feet. You'd think that with those enormous ears, elephants would be able to pick up every sound both near and far. But it turns out that to detect distant noises, the animals also hear with their feet. Normally, they would hold their big ears out like a parabola and scan back and forth. But to detect distant noise and vocalizations, they'd freeze and lean forward and put weight on their front legs. Caitlin O'Connell, the Stanford University Research Associate who discovered this phenomena, told the San Francisco Gate. Sometimes it even lift up a front foot. All of them would do this at the same time. It was too coordinated to be a coincidence. An adult's blood vessels could circle the equator four times. The human body may seem minuscule compared to the size of the Earth. But adults have so many blood vessels that if you laid them end to end, they could circle the planet's equator, which is 24,901 miles, four times, according to National Geographic. It would take more than 20 years to try all variety of apples. If you're the kind of person who appreciates variety and would love to taste test a new type of apple every day of the week, then you're in for a decades-long endeavor. It would take you more than 20 years to try each of the 7,500 varieties of apples in the world. NASA was sued by three men for trespassing on Mars. NASA has been working on Mars-related projects for years, but their exploration efforts faced an unexpected situation in 1997. 
when they were sued by three men for trespassing on the Red Planet. We inherited the planet from our ancestors 3,000 years ago, the men from Yemen told the Arabic language newspaper Al Thari. However, in an interview with CNN, NASA brushed off the suit. Their news chief, Brian Welch, told the outlet, It's a ridiculous claim. Mars is a planet out in the solar system that is the property of all humanity. No two or three guys in Yemen. Cotton candy was invented by a dentist. Cotton candy isn't exactly great for your teeth, and that's why it may surprise you to learn that the machine that makes a sweet treat was invented by a dentist named William Morrison. Though he looked after people's teeth for a living, in 1897, he also worked alongside confectioner John C. Wharton to create a cotton candy machine according to National Geographic. There are three different types of smiles. No single emoji can really capture the diversity of the human smile. One 2017 study from the University of Wisconsin-Madison found that people distinguished three basic types of smiles. Reward, given as a praise, for example, to a joke. Affiliation, to show a bond between people. And dominance, to signify higher social status. Each of these smiles looks distinct and involves different aspects of facial symmetry, eyebrow lift, and lip pulling. The world's tallest tropical tree is 330 feet tall. On the island of Borneo in Malaysia, there's one yellow maranti that's been deemed the world's tallest tropical tree. Weighing more than a jetliner, which is around 180,000 pounds, and standing 330 feet tall, the view from the top is almost too stunning to describe. That's what local climber Unding Jami found out when he scaled the tree to get the official measurement. It was a scary climb, so windy, because the nearest trees are very distant, he said in a press release. But honestly, the view from the top was incredible. The oldest known star appears to be older than the universe. An ancient star called Methuselah has baffled scientists due to the fact that the celestial body appears to be older than the actual universe itself. But now, there may be an explanation. Although previous research suggested the star was around 16 billion years old, despite the universe being a mere 13.8 billion years old, new numbers make a little more sense. Howard Bond, the lead author of the 2013 study by Pennsylvania State University and the Space Telescope Scientist Institute in Baltimore, factored in information about the star's distance, brightness, composition, and structure. As a result, he explained that he measured Methuselah at an age of 14.5 billion years with a residual uncertainty that makes the star's age compatible with the age of the universe. That uncertainty is plus or minus 800 million years, meaning Methuselah could be around 13.7 billion years old, which would make it slightly younger than the universe. Japan uses sunflowers to clear up radiation. When a tsunami hit the Fukushima area of Japan in 2011, the radioactive fallout from the nearby nuclear power plant contaminated the land and water for 30 miles in every direction. Even outside the evacuation zone, the soil shows traces of radiation, which can wind up in any food grown there. To help rehabilitate the land, Buddhist monks began passing out seeds for field mustard, amaranthus coxum, and sunflowers. More than 8 million sunflowers were planted within the first six months after the disaster, Doctors found a tooth growing inside a man's nose. When a 59-year-old man showed up at the University Hospital Aarhus in Denmark, after suffering from congestion and a runny nose for two years, doctors found something unexpected, a tooth. The doctors noticed the patient's septum, the cartilage bridge in the middle of the nose, was bent to the left and there appeared to be a mass lodged in his nasal cavity. When they conducted a scan, it revealed that the blockage was caused by intranasal tooth that had erupted inside his nose. The mass was removed during surgery, and after a short bout of antibiotics and nasal saline irrigation, the man's nose was tooth-free. Boeing uses potatoes to improve their in-flight Wi-Fi. Because humans can't sit for days at a time while Boeing tests their in-flight Wi-Fi systems, the company uses something a bit more unusual to mimic the condition of people being on a flight. Potatoes. The vegetables make the ideal stand-ins because of their water content and chemistry, which absorbs and reflects radio wave signals the same way humans do. Bees can live inside your eyes. It certainly hurts when you get stung by a bee, but what's even worse is having the creepy crawly creatures live inside your eye. 
That's what happened to a 28-year-old Taiwanese woman in 2019 while participating in the King Ming Tomb Sweeping Festival, which involves cleaning up the graves of relatives who have passed away, the woman thought a bit of dirt had gotten into her eye. But when her eye swelled up, she went to the doctor, who found something black that looked like an insect leg. The leg was attached to a 4 millimeter long bee, and it wasn't the only one. The doctor explained, I grabbed the leg and very slowly took one out, then I saw another one, and then another, and another. There were four sweat bees in total. All were alive and had been feeding off the woman's tears. Benjamin Franklin wrote an essay called Fart Proudly. Benjamin Franklin was responsible for many impressive accomplishments as an inventor and politician, but he was also a writer who penned essays such as Fart Proudly. Seriously? In it, he wrote, It is universally well known that in digesting our common food, there is created or produced in the bowels of human creatures a great quantity of wind that the permitting this air to escape and mix with the atmosphere is usually offensive to the company from the fetid smell that accompanies it. His essay urged the Royal Academy of Brussels to try and discover some dug wholesome and not disagreeable to be mixed with our common food or sauces that shall render the natural discharges of wind from our bodies not only inoffensive, but as perfumes. Cats can be allergic to people. Some people's immune systems react badly to cats. A little bit of fur can provoke a runny nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, and even a rash. However, cats have allergies too. They can have allergic reactions to other pets like dogs or birds, or in rare cases, to their human owners. Since we, hopefully, bathe more often than our furry friends and don't shed so much hair, feline allergies to people usually develop in response to chemicals like detergent, soap, or perfume. If you change brands and that still doesn't help, you may need to give your cat some antihistamines. Which one seems more interesting? Let us know in the comment section. That is all for now. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.